Here we have a very unique system of equations. It doesn't look like linear in any case. When we have 1 over x plus 3 over y equals to 3 over 4, these numbers in the denominator makes it a rational equation, right? By no means this is a linear equation. So here what we do is we follow a strategy to make it linear and then solve it. So our strategy in this case is substitution. So what we, we are going to do is, so look here, we'll substitute one over x as a and one over y as b. Let's see what happens after we substitute like this. So we are writing 1 over x as a and 1 over y as b. So if I do it, let me write here for 1 over x is a, so I'll write a plus 1 over y is b, so 1a plus 3b equals to 3 over 4. That's my first equation. And the second equation becomes 1 over x is a, so it is just 3a minus 2b equals to 15 over 12. You see that magic? It converted that rational equation into a linear equation. Wow! So now I think it's easy for us to solve because we had been doing these kinds of equation a lot. So another strategy is get rid of fractions and that is now here we have 4 in denominator so I'm going to multiply by 4 everything so once I do that, I have 4a plus 12b equals to 3 here, and here I am going to multiply everything by 12. But before that, actually I can simplify this. And if I simplify this, 15 and 12, they have 3 common, right? So we get 5 over 4 here, correct? So let's simplify it first. Do you see that? Wherever you can, why not? So we divide both by 3 and so we get 5 over 4 right after simplifying now let me multiply it by 4 so if I do that so I get here 12a minus 8b equals to 5 correct so these are our two equations and now we can use elimination or substitution well it's easier to make this 12 right so let's multiply this equation by 3 and see what happens so we'll times 3 this equation so if I do that then we have 12a plus 3 times 12 is 36 b equals to 9 right now here we have 12a minus 8b equals to 5 let's call this equation as 1 and this equation as 2 now we will do 1 minus 2. So if I do 1 minus 2, what do I get? So 12a minus 12 is 0. And 36b minus of minus 8b. So we get, let me write this first. 36b minus minus 8b equals to 9 minus 5, correct? So 36 minus minus becomes plus, correct? So it becomes 36 plus 8, which makes it 44b, equals to 9 minus 5, which is 4. Therefore, b equals to 4 over 11, 44, which is 1 over 11, right? Now, if b is 1 over <coughs> 11, we can find what a is from here. So I'll substitute... 1 over 11 in this case and try to find what a is. So we get 12a equals to 5 plus 8b. So it's 8 times 1 over 11, right? So if we take 11 as common denominator, it becomes 55 plus 8 over 11, right? So 55 plus 8, 8 plus 5 is 13, 3 and 1. 63 over 11 is equals to 12a. 
So from here we can say A is equals to 63 over 11 times 12. So, so which we can simplify a bit. So 63 over 11 times 12 is our value for A. So A, 12, let's simplify it. We can divide this by 3. So if I divide this by 3, we get 3 times 4, 12, and 3 times 2, and then 3 times 1, right? 21. So it is 21 over 44. Now, let's look back into what our substitution was. We say B is 1 over 11. So that means B is 1 over 11. So Y is what? Y is 11, correct? So from here, we can write B is 1 over 11. So we say, well, 1 over Y equals to 1 over 11 which implies that y equals to 11. On the other hand, a is 21 over 44. So, we can say 1 over x equals to 21 over 44, which implies x equals to 44 over 21. So, our answer is x equals to 44 over 21 and y equals to 11. Okay, so that's the solution for the given system of equations. It seems to be complicated, but still this substitution helps us to make this relation a linear relation and solve with the standard methods which we have learned in this section. Review it and if you have any difficulty in understanding, you can write down your comments and then we can help to sort it out. Thank you.